For the charcoal grayscale, I'm dividing the page in the same way into five squares using the ruler to gauge the width of the squares. And I'm going to start in square number one, which I'm going to assign as the darkest square. And I'm starting to, in the same way as we did with the graphite, I'm going to build it up in layers. The charcoal is going to obviously want to go in uh, nice and dark right away, but you still are going to have to make multiple passes over it. And also similarly, it's natural that the texture of the paper should show through in some places. On this case, I'm going to now go with the white charcoal and find the brightest spot, which will be number five, and going in in layers in the same way as I did with the black charcoal and toning in that area completely. That will be the only area that will be, will we use the white charcoal will be in that square before switching back to the black charcoal and with sensitivity to the texture of the paper, with an overhanded grip, lightly toning in that area with small back and forth and circular strokes with the side of the charcoal. Usually going a little lighter first, and then that allows you to make multiple passes to get each square as dark as you need it to be to make a logical progression from one to the other. With both of these, never smear or use a blending stump to, to smear the charcoal. Allow the paper to show through, so there'll always be a little bit of a texture of the paper visible for both of these drawings. 